better pay. Supporters of raising the minimum wage now want your vote. Good evening. I'm Brandi Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. It appears they have far more signatures than they need to put the raise on Nebraska's November ballot. They support this, a gradual increase in the state's minimum wage, going from the current $7.25 an hour up to $9 by January of 2016. The goal? To provide a better living wage. But experts say that extra money has to come from somewhere. KETV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl is live with the big story at 6. That's right, Brandy, because economists say a potential increase impacts everyone from business owners, even consumers. And today it appears there are more than enough people who want you to vote on the issue come November. You've likely seen some of the 300 volunteer petitioners all over the area in recent weeks. Volunteers like former teacher Susan Kalina. I look at these boxes. I see big boxes of hope for kids. But now she's at the state capitol rallying for a minimum wage increase, helping to collect all of 134,899 signatures. No Nebraskan who works hard should feel like they're drowning in our economy, and everyone who works full time deserves to be able to provide for their families. And State Senator Jeremy Nordquist says it may have taken months, but seeing the support sends a clear message. Clear that uh, Nebraskans are were very receptive to uh, the issue, and Nebraskans see their neighbors every day struggling to get by. Um, on this side, we have all of our different raw foods. Um, Jen Haynes, co-owner of pet supply store The Green Spot, says she's in support of fair wages, but she's also trying to support her business, especially when, as a small business owner, you know I really don't take home very much. Haynes says she doesn't want her customers to make up the extra cost. She also doesn't want to be told if she's paying her employees enough. I'd like to decide what my employees are worth, um, you know, and I'd like to think that they're worth a lot, and that should be though my decision. An economist I spoke with agrees there are potential backlashes for minimum wage hikes, like higher prices for customers or a cut in employee benefits. I don't think it'll accomplish what the people who are, you know, uh, supporting it wa want to accomplish. But still, some people hope this could be the solution to a widening economic gap. There's no doubt that uh, the families that are making minimum wage or just above minimum wage, when they get an extra dollar in their pocket, it's going to go right back into our economy. Now again, 134,899 signatures collected, but they'll need to validate at least 83,000 of them to put the minimum wage increase on the November ballot in Nebraska. Live in the Newsplex, Christina Engdahl, KETV Newswatch 7.